हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर कल्याण आई एम ए सीनियर न्यूरोसर्जन एंड स्पाइन सर्जन फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई एम स्पेशली ट्रेंड इन की ओल स्पाइन सर्जरीज एंड की ओल स्कल बेस सर्जरीज आर एंडोस्कोपिक स्पाइन सर्जरीज एंड एंडोस्कोपिक स्कल बेस सर्जरीज आई हैव एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस इन डीलिंग विद वेरियस कंडीशन ऑफ स्पाइन एंड ब्रेन the various conditions of spine include degenerative diseases like the slip disc spondylolisthesis and also spinal cord trauma vertebral cord injuries spinal cord tumors like glioma ependymomas and congenital diseases like uh, spina bifida tethered cord syndrome and also have extensive experience in dealing with brain tumors which are both malignant and benign in this series I'll be trying to explain you the common condition which my patients keep on asking me. What are the disadvantages of Keogh spine surgery or endoscopic spine surgery? When a patient comes for a Keogh spine surgery, he would have already known or the surgeon would have already told him the advantages of Keogh spine surgery. But it's equally important that what are the disadvantages of Keogh spine surgery? a patient who is well aware of all the things related to surgery has better outcomes so we as surgeon believe in educating the patient with both the advantages and the disadvantages and the complications of the procedure which the patient is trying to undergo so in this session let us speak about the disadvantages of keogh spine surgery the disadvantages of keogh spine surgery are very 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 less compared to the open spine surgery but even then as a patient as the patient attendant it give, it becomes your right and also it becomes your duty to understand the disadvantages before accepting or before going for the surgery so let us elaborate the disadvantage of the disadvantages of the keogh spine surgery we will go from the most common disadvantage to the most rare disadvantages are the complications okay first one as i have told you in my prior interviews a single surgery doesn't fit everyone so of all the diseases in the spine there are few diseases which cannot be treated by keogh spine surgery the keogh spine surgery for the neck or we call the cervical spine is being developed it is not commonly done the very few surgeons would do it and the surgeries are not so popular right now but when you come for the lumbar spine or the low back or the low back the keogh spine surgeries have become very common the many surgeons have have started gaining expertise and at least there are at least 3 to 4 surgeons at each metropolitan city who have gained expertise and who are doing it on a regular basis and they have gained expertise of more than 10 years right now so when it comes to the low back spine low back or the lumbar spine at least 85% of the diseases can be treated by keogh spine surgery whereas it comes to the cervical spine 85% of the cases will require an open surgery or a microscopic spine surgery then an keogh spine surgery all this is as per my experience so every surgery cannot be done by keogh spine surgeries some surgeries are better done by keogh some surgeries are better done by open spine surgery the lumbar spine which is very commonly dealt with keogh spine in 85% of the cases they can be done by keogh spine surgery and 15% of the cases still require an open spine surgery second one what are the complications the keogh spine surgery is done in a special kind of anesthesia which is known as local anesthesia or uh, epidural analgesia this anesthesia is far safer compared to general anesthesia which is required by open spine surgery so keogh spine surgery can be done for patients with very very sick patients like patients with heart disease patient with kidney failure patients with asthma patients with uncontrolled diabetes patient with uncontrolled hypertension and many other diseases but at the same time when we give uh, when this 
surgery is done under local anesthesia spinal or spinal analgesia the patient is awake even though he doesn't feel the pain or he feels minimal pain some of the patients become anxious so what we do we have a trial run a day before anesthesia we take him the patient into the theater we treat, we teach them what is going to happen so so that on the day of surgery they are not anxious much third one then it, it can cure spine surgery cause nerve damage the amount of nerve damage and the incidence of nerve damage which can occur in open spine surgeries is higher compared to the keyhole spine surgery and why one thing is in keyhole spine surgery the patient is conscious so if my instrument touches a normal nerve root immediately the patient will have a small shock like sensation and he will alert the surgeon that my instrument is touching the nerve root or the neural structure so i bring my instrument away from the nerve root so that i will not damage the nerve whereas in open spine surgery the patient is under general anesthesia so until the surgery is over sometimes we will not be able to make out whether the nerve has been damaged or not whereas in keyhole old spine surgery on the table during the surgery i will understand whether i am touching the nerve so that i will be able to avoid the nerve damage so the incidence of neural damage or fresh neural deficit after a keyhole old spine surgery is less than 1% is less than one is less than one person and because the keyhole spine surgery done under brilliant illumination and high magnification we shows the normal nerve nerve in very clearly crystal clearly the amount of the chances of nerve damage will be very very low third complication is infection which can be seen in any surgery but compared to spine open spine surgery the chances of infection are also very very low in keyhole spine surgery the instruments which you use in keyhole spine surgery are very very minor sometimes it happens that during surgery the instrument breaks and it's retained within the disc space in majority of the cases you will be able to remove the that broken instrument and the broken in, broken instrument but sometimes if you are not able to remove the broken instrument through the keyhole then we may have to convert it to into open surgery to remove remove the broken piece but this is uh, definitely very very rare apart from this rare complication which can be seen in keyhole spine surgery they are actually uh, very rare but uh, failure uh, sometimes we may have to convert the keyhole spine surgery into spine surgery to open spine surgery sometimes there be there can be injury to a layer around the nerve root which can cause leakage of csf sometimes we, you may require an open surgery at a delayed rate sometimes uh, you may you may have a recurrence and the recurrence rate is around 5 to 6% so these are some of the complication which can be seen in rare patients so before you go for a keyhole spine surgery do ask for the complications or the failure rate although they are less compared to open spine surgery you are supposed to know them thank you